Hi guys, so welcome to this um, very sort of straightforward sort tutorial and sort of mini review of the Megan McKenna Fancy Blow Dry um, Hair Extensions by um, Easy Locks. So today I'm just going to be um, putting them in, so doing sort of a small tutorial with it, very beginner's, beginner's sort style because I've never done it before so it didn't turn out amazing but it's still okay. I'm liking them so far and I've only had them in for 15 minutes so we'll see, we'll see as the night goes on. Colour wise, yeah it wasn't really, I think it's gone quite well, I think it matches but I mean I mean, with the hair extensions you're never going to get a 100% perfect match in my opinion. I wasn't 100% on the colour so what I did was I took a picture of my hair and sent it into the Easy Locks Instagram and then they sort of colour match you and say whichever they sort of think would be the best suited to your hair. So I got the colour Toffee Melt, is it? Do you know what, I definitely should have checked that before. I'm pretty sure it was. I'll link it down below, but I'm pretty sure it was Toffee Melt and it's the same ones that Megan McKenna uses at the moment. And it's sort of like an ombre balayage, balayage, balayage sort um, hairstyle. If you want to know how I did this, then please keep on watching. And please like and subscribe if you don't mind. Bye. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to section off the top part of my hair and tie that up because I'm going to do it in smaller sections, um, the curling, so just so it's a little bit more defined curls, a bit more volume and then it lasts a little bit longer. So I'm just tying the top lot of hair in a top knot and then I'm just going to start with curling the hair. I'm taking small sections, just popping them in the end of the applicator and rolling them up. For curlers, I'm using some fabulous ones. They are linked down below. They're like a big, thick wand, um, just for larger sort of loose wave curls. So at the, the finish of this look will be more um, of like a bouncy blow dry to match the extensions rather than defined curls. I'm just taking it section by section and curling each piece. It's probably probably split into about seven or eight sections um, in that bottom selection of hair, popping them under the clasp at the end of the roller, well curler sorry, and then rolling up and holding for about anything between sort of five to fifteen seconds depending on how big the hair section is. And then spraying on some hairspray each section. Then I'm just taking down another section of the hair so I can do some more curling but again just popping a smaller top section in a top knot mm, gracefully look at that um, and yeah just tying that top bit up and then doing the next layer so again just starting on the side obviously whichever side you want to start on is fine and just curling it round like so. I do sort of like a mixture of size sections, smaller and bigger, just because um, you get some sort of different size curls, some like looser bits in it, so it just looks a little bit more of a natural sort of blow dry rather than um, perfect curls. And then after that I'm doing the last section. The hairspray I'm using just like a silver, silver kin, something like that, I can't remember what it's called, but I actually don't recommend that one. If, if I'd recommend one, I'd recommend the Alnet Gold um, Hairspray by L'Oreal. That's really nice and it's quite a natural one that you can just brush out, but it's still good hold, like a good, yeah, like a good hold, so yeah. So now I'm just going to go and pop the extensions in. Um, and yeah, it's just clipping them into place. If anybody wants a sort of tutorial on how I actually put the extensions in, then please comment below. And now I've got them in place, I'm just going to work on the actual top knot little bun. So I'm going to tie the top section like so with a bubble. Um, and I'm just sort of taking a little bit. I'm not taking a lot in it because I need to cover the extension at the top so I'm just taking a small section trying to middle it off in the mirror as in the middle as you can get it and then just wrapping it round that bubble 
and then tying it with another one and the reason I'm using two bubbles is because the bubble underneath I use to create a bit of volume and then I wrap it round it's just a bit easier for me and then yes there we go all done thank you for watching 